Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical X shape. So let's begin with the code. So this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loop. One is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column. So here in our code we can see the for loop. This is the first for loop. This is to print stars in the row and here row is the variable name. Next inside that we can see another for loop. It is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable name. And in the output here we can see 5 rows and 5 columns. So here I'll mention range as 5. 5 rows and 5 columns. So it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That we can see here. Right. So we need 5 row and 5 column. All that. Next. Inside this we can see if else conditional statement that is we want to print stars in some particular pattern that is here alphabetical X shape for that we need condition that's why we are using if else conditional statement and here after if keyword I need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star okay for that we'll divide our output into two parts okay so first part is this and next part is this and here we can see this x is uh, in both the parts so it won't affect so first we'll see these stars so to print stars here so here we can see this stars in the place column 4 and row 0 next is column 3 row 1 column 2 row 2 column 1 row 3 column 0 row 4 okay so in each case we can see column value is decreased and row value is increased initially column is 4 and row is 0 in the next step column is 3 and row is 1 so here row is increased and column is decreased right so to print these stars we'll use two variables i and j and we'll assign initial row value to i and initial column value to j that is 0 to i and 4 to j okay so first we need two variable so i value will be 0 and j value will be 4 okay so next here what I'll do is when row is equal to equal to i and column is equal to equal to j I want to print star that is when row is equal to 0 and column is equal to 4 I want to print star that is this position this star when row is equal to 0 and column is equal to 4 here we want to print star right so we wrote the condition for that if, if I execute this here we can see this is the first star at the position row 0 and column 4 okay next to print remaining star we need to increment row value and decrement column value right so here I'll increment i value by 1 and decrement j value by 1. Okay. That is to print these stars. Each time column value is decreased by 1 and row value is increased by 1. Okay. If now I save this and execute this and here we can see stars. So we are done with the first part now, right? So now we are done with this part. Now we need to see this part, next part. 
so here we can see stars at row 0 column 0 row 1 column 1 row 3 column 3 row 4 column 4 right that is when row is equal to equal to column I want to print star okay so here I'll take elif that is else if when row is equal to equal to column I want to print star okay so here in the print function we can see star and end equal to empty string that is in print function by default end value will be slash n okay but here I don't want any new line between the stars okay so that's why here I change the end value that is empty string now uh, we are done with our code so here this is our first condition it is to print stars here okay next condition is to print stars here okay next if both this condition become false then we want to print space that is here in some places we can see space right so for that we wrote else part that is if both this condition become false then we need to print space okay and inside the first for loop we can see print function this is for new line that is that is you will print stars in one row and next you want to go to the next line right for that we use print function here this is for new line and that we used in the first for loop that is the for loop to print stars in the row right okay now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this and here we can see stars in alphabetical x shape okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care